G'day there, it's Matty here. Um, I wanted to send you this video just to prove that I'm not a bullshit artist. Anyway, um, this is one of my older PCs. There's a PC I used to use about oh, two and maybe four or five years ago. It's actually set up in the uh, back of my garage, and I've got a few other bits and pieces laying around here, old computer monitors and other motherboards, but I thought I'd set this one back up. Uh, it's running Windows XP Professional. Um, I tried Home, but Home won't do it. So you're going to need to either get a copy of Windows Professional from me or from somewhere else, maybe one of your friends in Holland, because then you'll get all the Dutch text. But uh, you will have to install the new version. Now this is, I'm pretty sure it's Service Pack 3, but I'll just triple check. No, it's Service Pack 2, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Service Pack 3 will also run. I, I haven't got it with me to test it. But um, what I can show you is something uh, more interesting. Uh, this is a pretty slow system. As you can see, an AMD Athlon XP2400, so it runs at about 2 gigahertz with uh, 768 megs of RAM. It's only got a 32 megabyte um, it's the old uh, TNT 232 megabyte uh, video cards that NVIDIA made many years ago. But uh, anyway, uh, what you do is you install Microsoft Virtual PC 2007, which usually comes up on the bottom. You also have to install a program if it asks for it. If if you install this and it says you need MSXML6 you can type that into Google and it will be a free download if you have an unlocked version of professional meaning a full copy. I've got an OEM copy um, which is a full registered copy to Microsoft. It's actually pirated but anyway um, so I'll run this. Now Microsoft Virtual PC comes up in a little thing like that. What you normally do is that you click new to start off a new one when it asks you about RAM or the OS type, you have to use Windows 98 SE or Windows 98. SE or first edition doesn't matter. But Windows 98 and set the RAM to, I think I set it to 128 megabytes. Yes, 128 megabytes will do plenty for Windows 98. Uh, about 4 gig hard drive. Uh, you probably have to fiddle around with this a few times to get it running. But anyway, we'll we'll start it up because it's a second startup. I haven't I've only done one install, but this is a second startup. So we'll start this up. Make sure you do the install without running full screen. I've set full screen up myself, but uh, make sure you do it without. So here we go. Start Windows 98. I've already done the install. You'll also have to install DOS 7.1 first, as you can see I've got on here. So it says now you're in a DOS prompt, but you're not. Um, one day I'll probably have to sit down and run it through with you if you get stuck. Uh, you'll have to install the CD-ROM drivers and don't install Windows 7.1 add-ons. If you want any of this stuff, I can probably ISO image it to you. But they are fairly big, especially Windows 98. It will be fairly big and Windows XP Professional. So I've set up a password for my own network. As you can hear from the sound, occasionally glitches. Whoa! Now if you get that message, just push the enter button, it will go away. Now I've already pre-installed Windows Need, uh, sorry, Need for Speed 2 SE, which I think was the game that you uh, wanted to run. So I'll double click that and make sure it runs now. Here we go. Running.
As you can see, it seems to be running well so far. But I've, I haven't actually tried running the game yet, so we'll, we'll try and do that. First we'll set up the options. Probably not much that uh, you can do. I can't do a manual, so I'm just going to do... So we've got the settings pretty much a full blast. I'll just race a automatic. It'll probably be a lot easier. You choose the McLaren F1. Uh, location. Uh, we'll do the proving grounds for four laps and race. Runs it perfectly. And, you know, you probably find it will play most other old Windows X series games, 9X series games. Anyway, there you go. So, all you need is uh, Windows XP Professional installed in your PC uh, and also. Um, Windows 98 with Virtual Desktop 2007 running and the game itself and you'll be you'll be right. This is Maddo over and out.